Welcome to Dream Body Alchemy, the podcast that fearlessly explores empowering transformations by unlocking the dormant vitality within your DNA, reshaping your mindset and unveiling your true essence, propelling you towards profound healing and expansion. Join your host, Melissa Valentine, as you embark on this journey to rewrite your story, one of activation, body alchemy, and the unapologetic embodiment of your boldest self. We want to talk about the three simplest steps that you can take to go from stuck to into alignment. If you are feeling any kind of resistance, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling frustrated, we are going to bring you to a place where you just feel things naturally flow. Your body, your life is in alignment. Your actions, your decisions, your feelings, your thoughts are in alignment, which means you are going to be more authentic in each and every moment. The first thing we want to talk about is what's the difference between resistance and residence? Anytime you are feeling stagnant, if you're feeling stuck in your life, stuck in your body, you're feeling frustrated, You might be feeling bitter. You might be feeling unsuccessful, restless, feeling stressed a lot, feeling like you are wasting time. All of these are going to be a sign that you are out of sync with your desires. You are out of sync with your authenticity. You are out of sync with your alignment. The contrast of resistance is resonance, and this is going to feel like you are in flow. Everything is just flowing naturally. There's synchronicity. You're not stuck in your head. You are now in your body and you're feeling good. You are present in the moment. And that is where we want to live our life. The first step is just becoming aware. You have to be aware of the resistance. And you can even go a step further and be proactive and become aware of your triggers that cause you to be in resistance. When do I feel more resistance? Is this a pattern? The most important thing now is to just be aware of it in the moment. Let's say you're trying to write a blog or something for work or a passion project, but you feel like you are forcing it and nothing is just coming. You're not feeling inspired. You're not feeling excited. Or maybe you feel like you are dragging yourself out of bed every day and you're just going through the motions. This could be a sign of resistance also. When you shift this into resonance, you are going to find that you have abundant energy. You are going to be inspired and you're going to have more flow. So if there's resistance versus resonance, one is going to feel like hustle and you have to find motivation. One is going to be exciting. If you're in resonance, it's just free flowing. The main thing is it's that feeling of resistance, frustration, feeling stuck, feeling stagnant, feeling like you have to force yourself, not feeling motivated. That is the feeling that's stage one, that awareness. Two, This is the second thing you want to do once you've recognized that you're in resistance to step towards alignment, you want to understand the power of feeling over thinking. So in these moments when we're feeling frustrated, we tend to think, how can I do this? What should I do next? You try to think yourself into a different state. What you want to do instead when you're feeling resistance is tap into feeling. What would feel better? What would feel good for me to do? It's the feeling of least resistance. What's in resonance with me now? And again, when you are thinking The logical mind is going to take you to a place of patterns, what it's done before, what has and has not worked before. It is not taking you into the realm of possibility. And what you have to realize is that your feelings is the body's compass. Your feelings is your higher self signaling to you. And it might not be logical because it's not about being productive. We are not trying to be 
as productive as possible, we are trying to get into a resonance of least resistance. And sometimes to get into that resonance, that higher frequency, because frustration is a low energy like emotion. So if we think of energy, and if you're on YouTube, you can see me. If you're on the podcast, you can just imagine. But if you start at the bottom, let's say you have like hopelessness, that's very low energy. Let's say you go up a little bit higher and there's fear and there's craving and there's anger. And maybe you go up a little bit higher and there's frustration and overwhelm and you have contentment or boredom and you have maybe willingness or excitement. So as you move up, you have higher energy levels, higher consciousness, higher emotions, but also the actions you take have a different frequency. The choices you make have a frequency. So anything below 200 is a lower energetic frequency. So if you are taking actions out of frustration, out of stagnation, out of bitterness, out of feeling stuck in resistance, that's low energy. And so what we want to do is we want to make decisions and take actions that have less resistance and they're not going to be logical. In that moment that you are, whether you're doing a workout, whether you are writing something for work, whether you are trying to create something for your business, whatever you are doing where you are feeling resistance, whether you've just put too much on your plate, whether you are feeling stressed in the morning, this can be your morning routine. If you're feeling resistance to something, stressed out about something, you wanna take a path that feels better. And I always use the example of cleaning out a closet. I do, I mean, it could be cleaning anything and it doesn't have to be cleaning anything at all. It could be binge watching a show on Netflix for an hour or two. It could be writing a poem. It could be taking a drive, listening to music. It could be if you're working and for you, going to get your workout in right now is going to be the path of least resistance. That's what's going to feel the best. Do that. So it's not what it is, it's how it feels. So you feel the resistance, you feel the frustration, you feel stuck, you feel whatever that feeling is for you. Then you want to go, instead of asking how to get out of this or thinking your way out of it, you want to completely flip the script and do what feels the best. Follow what I would call your inner authority. Your inner compass is based on feeling. And so what this is going to do now, it's going to take you to a place where you feel better, where you increase your frequency. And a couple of things can happen here. One, it can remove the resistance so much that it brings your energy, your frequency, your consciousness, your receptivity, your attractiveness, not the way you look, but like how you attract things to you. Because remember, if your highest frequency is authenticity, the more authentic you are, the more you're following what feels the best to you in each moment, you are going to increase your authenticity. So you might be attracting answers to you. You might be attracting ideas. It's all about what feels good in the moment. And I'm not saying that everyone can right now just do what feels good. You get up and you just do whatever you want because I know I have a job, I have this. And yes, for a lot of people in this very moment, they could be in a transition which maybe your job in the moment is causing you a lot of resistance, or maybe your body is causing you a lot of resistance. It doesn't need to. So with Dream Body Alchemy, with the Aligned Body Awakening, it's all one program. It's all about that alignment. So you're not feeling resistance in your body with your workouts or what you're eating. It's literally in alignment with who you are. But the same thing goes with your prosperity working with your creativity, your genius, your gifts on the platforms that you're meant to be working on. A lot of times this is going to be about recreating your life around you. But I digress. The most important thing is to do what feels better in the moment. I want you just to take one second right now. And I want to encourage you just to stop. And I want you to assess how you feel in your body right now. Are you holding your breath? Is there tension in your shoulders? Are you feeling stressed or tired? Or are you feeling at ease? Are you feeling relaxed? Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling inspired? I want you to think about how these feelings guide your actions.
action. How often are you taking action with these feelings in your body? Because obviously we want the preferred state of being would be the latter. Feeling at ease, feeling relaxed, inspired, aligned action, inspired action. So getting into that state and allowing yourself to use your feelings as a guide towards becoming more aligned, more in resonance, and more authentic. Being authentic is not a thought. You don't have to think about how to be authentic. You don't have to think about how to be in alignment. It is a feeling. It's that simple. And step three, you want to then be able to build self-trust through evidence. And what this is going to mean is collecting evidence of your successes when you listen to your intuition. I'm not expecting you to quit your job, stop working out, stop doing anything that you feel in this moment that you need to do. But what if you began to test this a little bit more and collect evidence rather than pushing through, hustling, grinding, forcing when you felt this really strong resistance? What if you tested it out and you just listened to your what I would call intuition, and you did something that just felt better and see what happens. And begin to take note of that. Begin to collect evidence on how that works out for you. Because the most important thing for you is the more you begin to follow your feelings and you see proof and you collect evidence, the more you're going to have that self-trust. And this self-trust is going to become more innate. And so you're just going to begin to naturally be able to follow what feels best. You're going to increase your intuition, that inner knowingness, that connectedness, and you're going to begin to live a life more in alignment. Because what if that was the point? What if it wasn't who could struggle the most? Who could hustle the hardest? Who could be stressed out and handle the most stress? Who can do the most stuff? What if the true indication of success was being in alignment, living in flow, having things unfold naturally, attracting the people, places, and opportunities to you, loving the process. Like when I go to the gym, I go to the gym because I love the process. Am I the one working out the hardest? No. Am I the one running the fastest? No. Am I the one even lifting the most? No. But I can guarantee I am one of the ones that is most present, just enjoying the moment, dancing, living my life, waking up and going, what do I feel like doing? And I have so many examples of when I would follow what other people were telling me, I would feel so much resistance. And I knew one of my gifts is knowing when something's going to be successful. We have that ability to tap into what is best for us. And I have this gift of figuring out what's successful and what's not successful. And so when I'm working with coaches in the past, I could tell whether it's going to be successful. And as soon as I stopped, that's when clients would come to me. I have that evidence of when I follow my intuition, when I follow the path of least resistance, when I do the activities that feel like they're in alignment, the results are attracted to me. And I don't need to hustle and grind and stress because I have the past where I was burnt out. I had adrenal fatigue. My hair fell out. I was depressed. I was in so much resistance, but I wanted to do exactly what my coaches said. And I pushed myself and I grinded and I hustled and I was miserable and I was depressed. And these were the times when I was on my kitchen floor, ugly, crying, sobbing, snot, like just ready to give up because I was just so exhausted. And it wasn't the work because whenever I'm working with someone, I have so much energy. It's called synergy. And so when I'm working with someone who is in alignment, who is already somewhat there. They're already eating and exercising and training and living part of their passion. Like they have part of it, but they're not quite embodied. 
there's something like there's some little pieces that they still need to put together. But when we come together on our calls, we have this synergy where our gifts and our geniuses and our intuition just ignite and we have so much energy. And so I know when I'm on my path because I'm in alignment because it creates more energy. So when you follow your energy, you create more energy. And when you create more energy, it increases your energy on that energy level scale, increases your consciousness. It increases your alignment and your authenticity. So when I would follow other people and their guidance, and I felt that resistance, but I pushed through because I wanted to be a good student, it nearly killed me. And I feel like a lot of us are living lives of quiet desperation, where you're being a good person and you're working hard. But who is benefiting from that? And who is sacrificing? What if life didn't have to be a sacrifice? What if you could thrive? And what if this is the way? What if this is your permission slip to just see? What if I just did what felt good this time? What would align when you are racing to work or you're like you're in a hurry and you seem to hit every single red light, that's the resistance. What if you're just following your inner guidance, your resonance, what felt good and you're collecting that evidence and you just hit every single green light and you're just flowing and maybe you're listening to your high vibe music, right? Okay, so step one, you want to notice when you're in resistance. I think for generators and manifesting generators, if you're familiar with human design, you're going to feel frustrated. This could be you just feel stuck, stagnant, whatever. If you're a projector, I think you feel bitter. So everyone's got their own little non-self theme. When it comes to that, those are the main ones. Number two, you want to not think, but move towards your feeling. What is going to feel the best in this moment? What would feel better for you to do versus continuing to resist, go push against the resistance? What is in more resonance with you? What feels good in the moment? Again, it can be cleaning out your closet. It could be taking a nap. It could be going to get a workout in. Be honest and tap in and go, what would feel really good? And number three, you want to build self-trust through evidence. I'm on this journey where every single step I take is aligned action. I am so committed right now. I've set up my life where I have enough resources and I've let go of my coaches and I'm letting go of the pressure I've put on myself to create anything specifically. And I am just following my alignment and I am collecting all of the evidence. I'm not saying you have to quit your job and, and do this, but you can if you have those resources, if you feel like it's in alignment. If it's not in alignment, if it stresses you out and that freaks you out, don't do that. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do that. But where you can on a daily basis, start to collect evidence where you choose how you feel versus what you think you should be doing. I want you to notice how many times you ask yourself how. Overthinking is literally the thing that causes so much resistance. Asking yourself how is going to keep you stuck and keep you in resistance. I want you to shift to asking yourself what feels right and allow yourself to trust that when you follow what feels right, that the universe, source, God, your higher self is going to be in the background creating the next steps learn how to surrender control and let go the more you let go the more you're going to allow yourself to find alignment and go into flow one other thing that people tend to worry about is the fear of laziness a lot of women that come and work with me are financially well off but they've gotten it through the state of hustle and grind they're stressed out they're sick they're burnt out they're putting on weight because they just don't have the energy. And that's why in Dream Body Alchemy, I talk about health and prosperity because they are connected. You can have wealth, but if you're at this lower frequency, you are going to sacrifice your health. And that can be weight, that can be stress, that can be a lot of symptoms and disease. When you're energetically higher, you're in flow, you will now attract wealth, but you will also be in a place of health. So you will prosper with your physical body 
and with your finances. So the fear of being lazy, you might get to a place where you're burnt out and your body is actually craving for you to do nothing. Then yes, you might need some time to do a little bit of nothing, like literally lay around, watch TV, Working out might be a part of your plan because if you're working out in alignment, it might not be as intense. There might be a part of you that wants to take an extended break and there is nothing wrong with that because you just need more time to allow your body to get back into alignment so you can, so it can trust you to give you those signals. Because obviously if you're super stressed out and in resistance and um, you've been doing that for quite a while, your body is no longer gonna trust you and it's no longer gonna give you signals because it's been giving you those signals that it's not in alignment and you have been ignoring it. It's like your best friend that keeps telling you that guy's no good for you and they've been with him for years and years and years. At some point, they're just not gonna say anything anymore. But if you're someone who is in a good place and we can fix that pretty quickly too, if you, are really open to following your resonance and you are really dedicated and you're like me and you're like, no, I'm fed up. I am no longer doing anything that's out of alignment. I am taking radical responsibility for my authenticity. But otherwise, in most cases, your inner authority is going to come online. And yeah, it might give you a couple things that feel like this isn't productive, but it's not about being productive. It's about being in alignment. Um, and I find that most people don't have to fear because it will always bring you back to your purpose and your physical health. Because the main things that we really want is to have a physically fit body because that is the vessel we are moving around in. We want to love ourselves and love others because love is the whole point. And our career, our prosperity, our service to others, our value. That's pretty innate in all of us is that we want to provide some kind of service. And that is how we also provide value. And that's how we get value back as in money. Yeah, there's going to be no part of it where you're going to, the higher your frequency is not going to make you more lazy. It's going to do the opposite. It's actually going to increase your energy and you want to increase your energy enough where then you're just naturally going to want to do what is in alignment with you because you're going to have abundant energy and that's what we're trying to do when you're in resistance you don't have abundant energy you have energy leaks and so all the energy is going out all over the place it's not in alignment it's not focused so it's not moving you forward it's all over the place and you're getting drained this is probably one of my favorite topics to discuss with people because i wanted an easy way to go this is how you become authentic only i help people have a blueprint i help show them their blueprint of their prosperity of their gifts of the way they're meant to eat and train make decisions and then we do all the embodiment work we take decades and we can transmute and alchemize their results in days and this means their results of their physical body, their love of self, and their prosperity path, the flow. Hopefully you got some value. If you did, please like this episode on YouTube. Give me a follow if you want to hear more or go ahead and follow me on your favorite podcast. I believe I'm on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, for now, every Friday, I'm going to be on Instagram and I'm going to answer some questions. So if you have questions, leave them below and I'm going to be answering them on Instagram, Dream Body Alchemist on Fridays, noon Central Standard Time. Thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in working with me, I will drop a link below and I will see you guys next week.